Good morning, teachers. So today we're talking about orientation. Um, orientation has become a bit muddled. So I want to reboot everybody at SVAE to make sure everybody's on the same page and there's not confusion. So what happens after students register, they get put into a Canvas orientation. It takes a couple of days for that to populate. Now, the folks who are going to start on uh, Monday, the 25th, they're meant to arrive here in orientation class. So they see our mission and vision, and then they're met, they have one week from the time you enter orientation. Orientation is a short one week class. Now, does it take them one week to complete it? No, it takes them less than an hour of concentrated time, just like they were in front of us before. So usually what we would do is have orientation maybe on a Wednesday or Friday. We would link it with our ESL test and we would take them through the handbook. So orientation can't be skipped, okay? Because that's where they sign the um, technology use agreement. It's where they find out about our COVID requirements. So there is an actual document of a link that they have to walk through. While they're walking through this, okay, so if I, if I go through, there's something that they need to do. They watch the coming, a video of coming to school where we give them a video version of what's in the handbook, a summary, okay? And then they say, do you understand? They have to click yes or no. Super simple. Did you understand? Yes or no. So if they don't click these little boxes, they don't get credit for orientation. It just doesn't happen. Do you need a laptop technology? Yes or no. And then Drew would know that thing, okay? And so the, the problem is uh, we have a COVID um, little thing and then they hit submit. Okay, then they come in to me where I give them attendance. They get uh, we owe a one hour attendance requirement towards their CASAS next testing. If they don't do this little clickety click, they just can't figure it out, they don't get credit. So folks are trying to skip this all together and go into class, and then they don't get the student handbook. The student handbook has all of our phone numbers, how to come in campus, what to do. So the Canvas uh, handbook is right there. They can download it at home. This is a requirement. It's a requirement. Has our mission and vision, all of our phone numbers. We walk them through it. There's a smart goal sheet assignment that we give them. It's literally ticking boxes, tick, tick, tick. Really easy to translate this entire thing into any language. You can translate it for them. You can show them how to do it can translate it into um, Japanese or Spanish, and then they'll be able to um, see this entire page. If you don't know how to do that, please feel free to ask one of us, we can do that. So language is not a way around orientation. Um, we did that before. We have a para team to walk them through that. They have to do the orientation, okay? So in the handbook for the orientation is also the technology use agreement where they're ticking yes or no, okay? Coming to campus, this is where they get all the forms, um, the waiver they need to sign. If they're gonna come on campus to use an open lab, they have to sign this document. Where do I get that document? It's in the orientation. <laughs> A lot of people are like, I never got it, I didn't do, yeah. Sure you didn't, because you didn't do the orientation. So how do we know who did the orientation? Usually it'll go into a prerequisite form. And then in their ASAP, what happens is we put a note that says they completed orientation, okay? So in the orientation class, that's how they get their time. And then that gets removed. Okay, so it's really, really, really important that students go through orientation. They can't skip it. A lot of students skipped it 
and they said, hey, I got to my class, so it doesn't matter. I don't have to go back and do the orientation. And that means they didn't get any of the form signed. They don't have the waiver signed. They didn't do their technology agreement. They don't know how to go around um, Canvas. They don't know how to submit a plan. And that's kind of what we have our powers for, to walk new students through that. And so if you think they're going to be in your class, and ready to go on Monday morning, a lot of students have not done the orientation. It's Friday and they haven't done the orientation. So the most important thing we need them to do, even if they do it this weekend, right? We have to get them into the orientation, okay? Once they do the orientation, they get dropped. So I sent an email blast and what you can see is we have 85 students scheduled to do the orientation now down to 66. Yeah. So once they do the orientation, then they complete. They complete and they don't have orientation to do anymore. So if they never did the orientation, they're still on this list. Okay. So that's the really important part. Okay, and then somewhere in their note, we can add a note to a specific student. And we can, once they're finished with orientation, this will be hour one, and they will have that. So please, please make sure you direct your student to go to the orientation class. They have to do orientation. They only have one week to do it. And we're going to be clearing all of the students out of this module they won't have this shell anymore okay they have to do orientation so please direct your students to finish orientation once they finish orientation then it's really easy for us to see folks who have finished their orientation i have to say it multiple times so that folks can kind of understand and then we can remove them so I can see that this person, she's been going to school here since November and she never did orientation, right? So it shows that she didn't finish. Even though she's in a class, she skipped orientation, right? And if I can see that they're looking, they go there, but we need to see if they finish their assignments in there. There's The assignment means to sign their documents and turn them in, yeah, in orientation. That's where they get to do it. When they finish in their orientation, then it shows this, and then they're all the way done. And then I'll send them an email and go, Diamond, you're done, you finished your orientation. And then I put this in there ASAP that they're finished, they get their hour, and then they move out of orientation. Okay? Please have them go to orientation so that all these students who are still in orientation <laughs> this is not accurate but um as you know you have students who, who are on your canvas roster who are not in your class anymore well look at all these students who are still on my roster about 350 students right so we need them to complete their orientation so we're in compliance and they signed all of their documents, okay? Very important for them to know how to get on campus, getting the link so they can find it, they should download it to their phone, the waiver, the prerequisite talk to them about um, school rules, no smoking on campus, no bringing your pets, et cetera, et cetera. So please redirect them to the orientation class we need them to finish the orientation. So hopefully um, you can help me out to get them to finish the orientation. If they don't do the orientation, this is gonna become the teacher's issue and teachers are gonna have to take on the orientation. So you're gonna have to stop class and you're gonna have to give the orientation <laughs> to that one student so they can get their hour. So we need to figure out a way for them to do their orientation and get all of their documentation signed so that we are compliant. Okay, so thank you so much. Please just have them do their orientation in the place that they're meant to be doing their orientation. 
They get a week to do it. They can do it any time during that one week. And then the next week starts. So really what we should say to students is you can't start class until you finish your orientation. It should take an hour or less, depending on the, technolo the technological prowess of the student. Okay, if you have questions, please call the guidance or me, Jenna Chestone, who's the Academic Project Coordinator at SVAE. Thank you.